What's up, people of the internet? Today's video is pretty straightforward. We're going to analyze the IGN video, the 4K video that they put out the other day. So hopefully we can learn some stuff. Let's dive right in. All right, so IGN is playing the red blue deck. Coincidentally, that is the deck that I played at PAX when I won the tournament. Um, <laughs> I, I had someone in the comments be like, why do you always say that you win the tournament? Um, I say that just because, I mean, well, it's true, but also because I want you guys to know that I do kind of know what I'm talking about. I have at least played the game, but I'm not doing it to brag. I'm not trying to be like, oh, check out this cool guy. I'm so awesome. I, I won the tournament. No, I'm just letting you know that I have at least played the game. I, I won some matches, so I'm not completely talking out of my ass. He's playing against the red green deck, which I actually think is kind of one of the weaker decks, decks at PAX. It's got a couple of dud cards, like Grand Melee is, is a little bit crappy. But anyways, let's let's sort of focus on the match. Um. In the first lane, we have a really, really bad scenario if the guy would go back over because we have Lycan and he is absolutely swarmed with creeps and that's what Lycan wants to do. So, um, poor little Luna, she's a little bit overwhelmed. And in an ideal world, um, our Bristleback would have been killing a creature, uh, another hero, but instead we just have the creep and there's nothing we can cast. So this is not a great turn for our friend at IGN. And um, of course we've got um, this, Pugna versus Keep the Bold, and fortunately Keep the Bold will trade with Pugna before Pugna can kill him because he's got that one armor, so that could go well for us. Um, I think at this point, I and mean, we can't buy anything, so that's fine. I think at this point we should probably focus um, on winning the third lane and giving up the first lane. The first lane is just a little bit too much stuff is going on. I think I would probably put... Can I cast any blue spells? No, I can't cast any blue spells, so I wouldn't put him in the first lane. Yeah, I agree. I would probably put him in the third lane. If I put him in front of Axe, he's just going to die. Uh, there's be a 50-50 chance of that with the creep. So I think um, I think that was actually a good call. Um, we definitely don't want to stack two blue creeps or two blue heroes in the same lane anyways. It's a little bit excessive. So uh, hopefully we can pull things through and start to like pick up with our really rough start. We've got Viscous Nasal Glue. Okay, Cunning Plan. Um, we have no blue neighbors, and we can't really... See, the thing is, we could swap something on the enemy board, but it kind of doesn't matter because they've got the rebel decoy. So any swapping we can do, there's a good chance they can like counter that with rebel decoy anyway. So I would really wouldn't recommend casting Cunning Plan unless you know, you're know you super, super desperate for card draw and you absolutely need to play Cunning Plan so you can draw a card and get something better. but. Yeah, I think we're better off just leaving him, seeing if he plays something. God, we're getting completely overwhelmed in this lane. This is not going well. I think we're going to lose Luna here. What we could do is swap Lycan. Okay, so there's no... Oh, God, what just happened? Okay, so we swapped that over. Why did you do that? What was the point of that? Was it... Wait, why did you do that? What's this guy doing? What are you doing, man? Cunning plan? What are you... Are you casting this spell just to cast this spell? Okay, that actually wasn't a terrible plan because it reduced the attack of the creep. I, yeah, that's actually a, a pretty good play. Um, so now the Luna survives means we're going to get one more Lucent Beam. This is the exact same shot as last time. I would use um, Nasal Goo on Axe just because we've got the four mana. Why not? It's either on him or on Pugna. And... Um, I guess at this point it's kind of like half a dozen one, six of another. Which do you prefer? Would you rather Nasal Goo, Axe, or um, Pugna? But Pugna's going to die without the Nasal Goo anyway, so I, I'm totally fine putting it on him. Let's see. Over here we have Pugna going down. There's nothing we can cast. Our hand is unfortunately really heavily laden towards blue spells, which is kind of a problem because we only have... Um, we got two two creatures, two blue heroes out, but Luna's certainly gonna die next lane. We can conflag, but conflag's gonna be too late. So here's the issue. Next turn, we're gonna be able to cast Conflagration. Um Blade of Vigil, yeah, Blade of Vigil's not too bad with these red heroes like Bristleback, so I would take that, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Good job. So you could put it in lane one, but at this point, I think lane one is a lost cause. He's at 16 damage incoming and that's only like what six damage away from 
killing the tower. So even if you cun flag, you're not going to cun flag that turn. I think I'd probably put this in the Earthshaker in the third lane and start trying to win the third lane. Uh, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with this. Like, at, in my opinion, this is a mistake because what this guy is doing is he's committing a lot of resources to a lane that he pretty much has no chance of winning. The only spell he can play here is Conflagration, Conflagration, but it won't trigger until the following turn, so you still miss. Yeah, like, you can conflag. Please don't conflag this lane. Please don't conflag this lane. It's not going to matter, man. It's going to be too late to matter. It's going to be two turns before you kill anything. So I think what he should do is either conflag the mid lane or the third lane, because I think those are the two lanes he's going to need to win in order to um, take this match. I think I'd probably conflag um, the mid lane because he's already got a pretty decently strong presence in the third lane. So putting um, conflag in the mid lane can start whittling down that axe, put some damage into the creep, and um, oh my god. Oh god. This can flag. Look, it's going to damage a lot of things. But it's not going to save him, man. It's not going to save him. I guarantee you. I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't watched this video. I actually don't know what's going to happen, so I can't really guarantee you. But I'd be very, very surprised if he's able to save this tower. Maybe next turn if he uses Eclipse, but I think he's kind of wasting his resources here. So Fighting Instinct, um, he could... Fighting Instinct... Yeah, I say... Well... His, his hand is so expensive. I was going to say maybe you don't want to use it because you can cast it instead next lane, but there's nothing you can cast next lane because all of his spells are so insanely expensive. So I feel like this deck is kind of getting a little bit of bad luck. He's drawn every single Thunder God's Wrath, which is a little bit excessive. We've got two Eclipses, Time of Triumph. So we're drawing all of our super late game cards early. I would have liked to have seen a couple of you know, cheaper options in there, but geez Louise, this is this is an expensive hand. There's now there's nothing we can play. Even though we managed to keep our Zeus alive. Yeah, this guy's reading cards. I guess he's trying to make a trying to make a decent video and showing off all the cool UI features. So unfortunately because of this, we our stuff is dying to some heroes. Oh geez. Oh that's not good. Oh no, we're about to get we're about to get hit by Legion Commander. Dude, Rebel Decoy, if you guys don't know this, Rebel Decoy is a phenomenal card. It's so good. It's practically a kill spell in the right hands because you can use it to, well, even not just a kill spell, it's also like a save your life spell because you can swap it uh, with, you know, a hero who's about to die or swap it with a hero that you want to use to kill a certain target. So it's just very, very useful. Unfortunately, we lost Zeus. Um, we're going to be having Keep the Bold coming in next turn. Let's just take a look. We got four gold. We are not making a lot of money. Um, yeah, you get town portal, I guess. But <laughs> maybe to get, maybe to get a <laughs> Earthshaker out of lane one because that's a lost cause. So I might do that just because he's. Nah, okay. I would have picked that up to get Earthshaker out of lane one because Earthshaker in lane one is a waste. He's not helping anyone. He's not doing anything. I mean. After Eclipse, you could Eclipse. I don't know if Eclipse is going to be enough, but you could Eclipse, and then depending on the on the results of the Eclipse, you could Town Portal out of there. So he's putting Keith the Bolt. Now, unfortunately, this is kind of an awkward situation because he's sort of losing each lane at the moment, actually. So he's made kind of some bad calls, and now he's a little bit in an awkward situation. He's kind of evenly matched in third lane, kind of evenly matched in the mid lane, I guess now. But overall, it's a little bit of a weak situation. Okay, so Conflag is coming through. Actually, he got Tower Barrage. So he could Tower Barrage. That's going to do what? That's going to kill... Um, actually, just the creep. That's actually not that great. Because the Tower Barrage is going to hit Pugna for two. And the sword's going to hit him for four. So don't don't Eclipse. No, I mean, don't Tower Barrage. Oh. I think he would have been better eclipsing because that at least would have given him a chance of killing. So here he could he could um, town portal scroll away, but now he's just gonna die instead. I think eclipse probably would have been the better call because it probably would have killed the creep. It probably would have killed at least one hero. It's more mana efficient overall. I just think it's stronger. God, there goes our shitty gun flag, which wasn't doing much anyways. So, I would have liked to have Town Portal scrolled out of here. 
I mean, this lane is just, it's gone. Like I said, that Conflag didn't do enough. It didn't save him. It was kind of a wasted spell. Even if Pugna hadn't, yeah, I think I think Pugna actually shouldn't have have uh, destroyed that conflagration because with the conflagration there, at least there's a chance he can get Lycan out of the lane once he destroys the tower. But now, what the IGN player should do is abandon lane one and start focusing other lanes. Um, okay, so we got a kill on Axe. What he should do is pass because there's no reason to change change the board state. Right, the board state is favorable to us. We have initiative. Let's just pass. Hopefully we'll get two armor out of this axe kill. If he plays a card to change the situation, then maybe we'll use new orders. But at the moment, there just isn't a need to do it. So, oh God, this this guy has not done fantastic hero management. Okay, so at this point, I would new orders over. I believe he's got one item, so there's a possibility he could put on armor or health or something like that. But, you know, there's a chance that new orders could get the the health i mean the um the armor buff so i think i'm willing to risk it probably no he's gonna he's gonna go through yep i am correct it, oh no it wouldn't make any difference no don't do it now Be okay Time for us to get <sighs> he just wait he, he kind of wasted new orders because that only works if respect passive only works if he survives so he just burnt a card. I'm not really sure why he burnt that card. Killing Axe would have been effectively the same as killing the 7-2. So kind of an awkward situation. And now, because he didn't do a decent job of keeping his blue heroes alive, we have tons of blue spells and no blue heroes to cast the blue spells with. So yeah, damage minion on 7-7, not a huge deal. Kind of sucks. Ideally, we could put, oh god. A hero in front of that, but we only have blue heroes at the moment, so they just die to this dude. God, his attack is so high. So, um, we have 12 gold. I think it's a little bit late for Keen Folk Plate. I might take Blade of the Vigil, maybe Fountain Flask, one of those. Um, yeah, yeah, take the Traveler's Cloak, I would say, because we're going to need the health to keep these blue heroes alive. So I would give up lane one. Lane one's a lost cause. The enemy tower is at 40 health. Ours is at six. Just accept the fact that we have lost this and move on. You'd want to put one blue, one blue character and one blue hero in the mid lane, one blue hero in the right lane. That way you can cast Thunder's God Wrath or Eclipse. No! Why? Why would you do that? Okay. At least you're putting Luna in the mid lane so we can spread out our blue mana a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so. We have Zeus in the mid lane. Unfortunately, we have two creep in the mid lane as well. So you could Thunder's God Wrath, which will kill nothing in this lane. You could Eclipse, which is a gamble. We don't know what that's going to do. Um, it's possible that Eclipse plus Blade of the Vigil will do something. I would probably, right off the bat, what would I do? Probably cloak him just to keep him alive because I don't know what's coming. Could be like a duel or something. No, does he have Legion Commander? No. Yeah, he does. He does have Legion Commander, so I would duel first. Not duel first. I would um cloak him first, just in case he gets dueled or something. I believe. And then I would probably Thunder God's Wrath or Eclipse after that. If he's investing heroes in this lane, I don't know. Eclipse Eclipse is so random. I wish I knew how many charges he had. Four charges? Oh jeez. Then no, Eclipse wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, putting Zeus in this lane was a massive mistake. Look, he put Zeus in his lane, but he's still going to lose the tower, which begs the question, why did you put him here? He's not going to destroy the, he's not going to do anything towards destroying the enemy tower. He's not going to do anything towards saving this tower. So why did you put him here? The only possible thing I can think of is to leverage this lane's mana, which I guess is cool, but I forget what, what's going on in the third lane. Is there any, um, no, there's no blue sp he, he can't cast Time of Tri Triumph in the in the right lane. Raven's Pilger he can cast, but he doesn't want to cast him in the red, in the third lane. So in the right lane, what he wants to do is cast a blue spell. So what he should have done is, I was right, he should have put a blue spell in the mid lane. He should have blue spell in the right lane. This, not bad, not bad. Like I said, he can still win the mid lane. Um, do I want to put Blade of Vigil on Luna? I wish I could remember what was going on in the right lane. 
Nah, I think Blade of the Vigil is probably a little bit better here because this is more of a brawl. This will buff up Keith the Bold and potentially help him clear the board. So, it would be so much better if we had a blue hero in this lane because we could do, you know, another Thunder God's Wrath or an Eclipse or Cunning Plan or something. But at the moment, the only option he has is Ravenous Pillager. So he has two options. He either puts Ravenous Pillager in front of Farvalon, which will kill the Ravenous Pillager, or he can put Ravenous Pillager in front of the Decoy, which will kill Ravenous Pillager. So both scenarios kind of suck. Not really great options. Um... Card draw is not super useful at the moment. We have a ton of spells already, a ton of really, really pricey cards, so we don't really need to fill up our hand with other excessively expensive cards. Okay, for the love of God, abandon your left lane. Please. I would put Bristleback in the right lane, hoping I can put him in front of Farvalon and start taking, taking all that damage. I would also actually put Earthshaker in the right lane as well. So, oh. Dude, look. You've won the mid lane, you don't really need Bristle back there. I don't think so anyway. Did he put Axe there? No. So you just committed a hero to a lane that doesn't really need him? I don't know why you did that, my friends. I think you were much better suited. Look, lane 3 is perfectly evenly matched. 23 health to 23 health on each tower. Um, it's 2 heroes to 2 heroes. If he had put Bristle back in that third lane, then it would have helped swing things in his favor. The opponent put Axe in that lane because the opponent knows what's up. He knows he can't win mid lane, so he's not focused on it. So he's over in the third lane thinking, I need to put Axe there so I can win the lane, so I can start, you know, doing stuff. Please, d okay. Yes, you need to either Cun Flag or Thunder God's Wrath. I think Thun um, Cun Flag is actually the better option because Thunder God's Wrath isn't going to do anything to Farvalon because Farvalon's immune, and he's not going to do much to Axe because Axe is so tough as it is. So, um... Dude, there's nothing else to do here. There's, there's, there's just nothing else to do. You could Cunning Plan just to cycle through your deck if you want to, like, draw a new card. But overall, you made a mistake putting Zeus here. It's just not a great option. Here, I mean, I guess I would Thunder God's Wrath just because there's not much else you can do with your mana. You could Red Mist Pillager and put him on a clock. But the thing is, the game's going to be over far, far before the... Red Mist Pillager clock becomes relevant. Okay. Look, man, it's 23 health. The game is going to be decided in 23 health. There's no way Red Mist Pillagers are going to blow up enough to kill 33 health worth of damage plus kill the Ancient. So 15. I think you're better off using Thunder God's Wrath to try and um, whittle down Axe a little bit. Maybe uh, we're going to Cunning Plan for some reason. I guess we, we'll cycle through a card. Let's give us Foresight. I mean, I, I guess that's an option. Now we can't cast Thunder God's Wrath, so I guess we'll have to Foresight, right? There's not really a better choice that gives us new orders, could be useful. And Rimmis Pillager, not really going to be helpful to us at all. It might block some damage, but five mana just to block one dude is not really a good scenario for us. So luckily we killed off the Ripple Decoy. Oh, our blue spells, no. No, our blue spells. <laughs> I think we just lost the game. Did we just lose the game? Is there anything we can do? So we're, we're one health off. We can cast one Red Mist Pillager, which is nice. I would put, it doesn't really matter where you put him in front of. I guess I'd put him in front of either one of the heroes because that blocks the most damage. And there's not really much else we can do. Poison Strike, okay, we'll put him in front of Axe. It's not going to matter, man. Go ahead, put him in front of Axe. Do it, do it, put it in front of, come on man, I believe in you. I believe in you. This is where you insert meme about video game journalism being a joke. Yes, that's that's the only option you have of staying alive. Okay, okay, well, that's game. Okay, the reason why this IGN guy lost this match is straightforward. He spent too many resources on lane one and that was a complete and utter waste. So you lost the game because you had bad priorities. Sorry, man. Better luck next time.